What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a shorter DIY for you. Maybe not shorter or faster if you're trying this at home, but a shorter video. Before we get started, if you could do me a huge favor and just click that like button, it would really help me out with the whole YouTube algorithm. And if you enjoy my DIYs or maybe some of my finance videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today I am transforming an old vintage cane chair and stool. Compared to my last DIY, this was a breeze and I'll leave a link to that right here. But just like that one, I found this chair stool combo on Facebook Marketplace and I was able to get it for 20 bucks. Cane furniture is super Super popular right now so when I saw this on Facebook marketplace I had to grab it especially because all of the cane was perfectly intact I immediately knew I wanted to paint the wood black because I had been seeing a lot of similar pieces of furniture all over but with four simple steps I got a beautiful piece first step was to prep everything I cleaned off all of the wood and all of the cane with some warm water and a little bit of TSP in there, which is just a cleaning solution. I used a toothbrush for the cane and all the hard to reach areas and just a rag for everything else. Then I took a sanding sponge to all the wood areas that needed it. I didn't have to go too hard with the sanding because most of the wood was pretty bare from years of use, but there were a couple spots that had a few smudges, so I just sanded that out. I also had to do a minor repair on one of the arms of the chair because there was a piece of wood that was just peeling away from the rest of it. So I used wood glue to stick it back down and then wood filler to fill around the cracks and where there was a little chunk missing. After all that had dried, I sanded it just like the rest of the chair. After sanding, I just took a wet rag to all of the areas just to pick up any of that remaining dust. So I was toying between either painting the cane a lighter color or keeping it completely natural. So I actually did an Instagram poll and asked you guys. It was very close between painting it a lighter beige color or keeping it natural but natural one. So in order to not spill paint on the cane, I actually used some frog tape to mark off all the edges of the cane. Step two was to prime. I did two full coats of this white primer, waiting a couple hours in between. This was to ensure that none of the natural wood or even some of the chemicals inside of it would seep through and ruin my paint.
Step three was the longest step because I used a total of four coats of black paint. I just wanted to make sure that every nook and cranny was perfectly black, so it took four coats. The wait time in between coats of paint is the worst. You're literally watching paint dry. Make sure you have a good Netflix series on. And finally, the last step was to seal and protect all of those layers of paint. So I just used one layer of top coat on everything. I'm honestly super happy with how these turned out. And even though it took some time to paint all those layers of paint, there's something super therapeutic about it. I am selling these on Facebook Marketplace, so definitely look out for that or DM me if you're interested. I think the chair would look so good at a front entrance as maybe a seat where you put your shoes on or take them off. And I could totally see the stool at the front entrance too, or maybe as a plant stand somewhere else. Either way, these two are super cute and I hope they go to a good home. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you wanna see more DIYs or finance videos from me. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you guys next time.